petals, modified leaves, were an advertisement to flying insects. They signaled the presence of highly nutritious pollen. The shape of the flower worked like a primitive trap, forcing the insects to stumble about and bump into the plant's reproductive structures. In doing so, the insects transferred onto the water lily pollen which they had accidentally collected on earlier visits to other flowers. So now, plants could trick insects into transporting their pollen directly from one plant to another with a door-to-door -door service. The flower of the giant Amazon water lily can close totally, holding the insects captive for several hours thus making absolutely sure that pollination occurs. Many different species of plant followed suit, each evolving its own particular flowers to attract its insect messengers. Competition for their services drove the plants to diversify. Insects favoured petals that were brighter. Scent that was more perfumed. And flowers that had the sweetest nectar. The appearance of such temptations had a huge effect on the insects. to diversify, a multitude of forms could better harness the potential of the numerous species of flower. Insects with large eyes could spot the flowers. Powerful wings could carry them between plants. mouth parts could delve into the deepest nectary. So plants and insects evolved together, driving their mutual diversity.